Okay, let's continue on with our week long of multiplication. So today we are practicing how to multiply three digit values times one digit. So it's kind of the same thing as last time if you get the hang that everybody needs to take a turn being multiplied. Remember, multiplication is adding but lots of different times, so much to the point that we don't want to add, right? So multiplication is kind of like an easier way of doing that, okay? So if you want to think about it, we have 637 people and I have four uh, rooms that each of those people will go into. So how many people are there? Right, so 637 in one one uh, room, but I have four rooms for the same amount of people, right? That's going to be counting quite a bit. So we try to make it a shortcut. So today, let's go ahead and start multiplying. We have 637 times 4. Again, we're going to do the ones with the ones. So we're going to do from bottom to top, right? From bottom to side, and one more time from bottom to the other side. So that this digit, this single digit, is being multiplied by everyone in that order, okay? So again, multiply the ones place, which is 4 times 7, 4 times 7, and 4 times 7 is 28. I'm going to have to regroup, so I drop the 8, and I carry over the 2 to the next value over, which is where the 3 is at, okay? Continuing on, now I multiply the bottom ones place by the top tens place, so that's bottom to side, right? So four times three is 12, plus two more that I regrouped, 14. Drop the four, regroup a one, okay? Continuing on, we have four times six, four times six is 24, plus one that I regroup. There's no more values, my answer is 25. So totally everything, the product is what we call it, or the answer, is 2,548. So again, it's the ones with the ones, the ones with the tens, the ones with the hundreds. So every one has to be multiplied. All right, let's try some examples together. Okay, let's try multiplying 524 times 7. So three digits by one. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. We do the ones with the ones, so we go from bottom to top, right? From bottom to top, seven times four. What is my answer? That's right, 28. I drop the eight, and I'm gonna regroup a two on the next value over, okay? And then I'm gonna go ahead and continue now with my next color. Seven times two. Seven times two is? 14. And if I regroup the two, that means add two more. 14, 15, 16, right? Drop the six, carry over, and regroup a one. So we drop the six, carry over, regroup the one. We have seven times five is 35. Plus one more is 36. And that is the number that I'm going to do last. So here we go. Seven times five. 35 plus 1 is 36. So here, my answer is 3,668. Okay? Don't forget to put your comma, 1, 2, 3, comma. Right? And that is my answer there. Let's try one more. Here we have 623 times 5. So we follow the same pattern. Make sure that that one digit gets multiplied by everyone. Right? So we're going to go ahead and go. Ones with the one. 5 times 3 is 15. Drop the 5, carry over a 1. Okay, moving on to the next part with a different color. Now I'm going to do the bottom ones times the top 10. So we're going to do bottom to the side. 5 times 2 is 10. Plus 1 more that I regrouped, that's 11. Drop the 1, regroup one more okay continuing on with the different colors so you can see now it is the bottom ones times the top hundred so everybody right so it's the bottom to the other side six times five is 
30. Plus, don't forget about the one that we regroup. 30 plus 1 is? That's right, 31. Okay. 1, 2, 3, comma, my answer is 3,115. Let's try some on your own. Let's try some independent, independent work on your own. So let's do number one. You're going to multiply 152 times 3. Number 2, 253 times 4. Number 3, 354 times 5. Number 4, 451 times 2. Number 5, 512 times 3. Number 6, 132 times 4. Number 7, 243 times 5. Number 8, 354 times 6. Number 9, 415 times 2. Number 10, 424 times 3. Your bonus is 67 times 3. Try multiplying those values on your own. All right, fourth grade, let's check your status so far. Was your answer to number one, 456? If so, give yourself a hug. Good job. You are doing just fine. Remember, three times two is six. Next value, three times five is 15. Drop the five, carry over a one. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 more to regroup is 4. Your answer is 456. For number 2, was your answer 1,012? For number 3, was your answer 1,770? If so, you are on the right track. Finish the rest independently by yourselves and show me a picture on Dojo. Thank you so much, guys. Make sure you guys copy down everything.